Hi, I'm Polly Carter. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to make a little dessert. It takes three ingredients, butter, eggs, and chocolate. You're going to love it. And I also would like to make some stuffed bell peppers. And uh, I would like to put some in the freezer for later. So I'm going to use all the pepper, bell peppers up that I have. And I have some ground turkey, so I'd like to... Um, make i think i would like to do rather than rice i want to use a black bean and i'd like to make it more of a fiesta style like a little bit of a mexican flair to it so we'll give that a try i'm so glad you're here i'm gonna make some enchiladas for lunch i have some turkey ground turkey I have some Mexican style cheese, shredded cheese, an onion, some black beans that you'll want to drain and rinse, kernel corn you'll want to rinse, and I just have these, I have a couple of these baby cans of enchilada sauce. I didn't realize I was out, so I'm glad that I'm making this so that I can order some medium-sized cans. All I have is these baby cans. And then I pulled some of these yellow corn tortillas out of the freezer, so we'll use those. a pack of ground turkey and I used half a yellow onion so I'm just going to brown these rinsed and drained a can of corn Add the corn and the beans. Add some leftover cheese. This is a 10 ounce can, so I'll put about five ounces. A little bit more cheese. Now that the filling is done, I'm going to get my tortillas ready. So with that leftover little bit of sauce from the can, I'm going to pour it to the bottom of my dish. Don't want these enchiladas to stick, so I'm just going to slide that around a little bit. Great, so the pan is prepared. I'll take a corn tortilla, close it, and add it to the dish. Whoop, this one broke apart. It's okay. It is okay. So now I want to take this second 10 ounce can and just drizzle it all over the filling, all over the tortillas. Perfect. I'm going to top it with some cheese. Okay, I'll put this in the oven for 375 for 15 to 20 minutes till it's nice and bubbly.
going to make a flourless cake. I'm using nine tablespoons of butter, 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm going to melt the butter and the chocolate chips together in 30 second segments. So I'll put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, take it out, stir it, put it back in, take it back out, stir it. I probably will take three or four of these segments to be able to melt all of the chips into the butter. And then we will add some egg yolks. So I microwaved the chocolate in 30 second segments and it is nice and melted into the butter. Look at this beautiful ganache. So lovely. It's very fragrant. So while we're gonna let this cool for a little bit, I'm going to work on cracking the eggs. I wanna separate them. I wanna work on separating them. There's so many ways that you can separate eggs now, but this is one thing I've had, probably had this for 30 something years. It's an egg separator from Tupperware. But I've seen some pretty cool tricks where they separate eggs with a plastic bottle and just kind of suck the yolk right out with an empty bottle using it like a vacuum kind of situation. But this works pretty good and I'm used to doing it this way. So, okay, so we have four. You do not want to get any yolk at all into this egg white mixture or it'll have a tough time rising. Also, you wanna use a grease-free bowl, a very clean bowl to whip your eggs in. In the KitchenAid with the whisk attachment. I want the egg whites to form a soft peak while that is going. My chocolate has cooled enough to where I can incorporate the nine egg yolks. form pan. Just going to add a little butter to hold this parchment in place. I'm going to butter my pan so it does the cake does not stick. There's no point in sugaring the sides because we're not trying to get it to climb. We just want it to not stick. I'm going to add some of my whipped eggs into the chocolate. And it's okay to just mix this first little bit together. You really want it mixed well. But for the rest, as we add the egg whites, we're going to fold it into the chocolate. We really don't want to deflate the eggs that we're going to add from here on out. We just want to incorporate and fold them into the chocolate. So you just take it from the bottom and swirl it up. Trying to keep the eggs from deflating. You want to keep that beautiful light egg white that we whipped up. 
and we're just folding it from the bottom. To be patient with this process because we don't want the eggs to deflate. Now I'll add the remainder of my whites. I think I might have needed to use a bigger bowl, but it's okay. Get it working here. I'm just scraping the bottoms the bottom of the bowl trying to incorporate all the chocolate into the egg whites. Okay, I have my prepared pan. I have a parchment round for the bottom and I just want to Cut it so it fits. So it looks like that would be about right, right there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Butter the bottom of the parchment, the top of the parchment, and the sides of the pan. This larger one will take 45 to 50 minutes. The smaller one should be done within a half hour. Oh, it looks like one of them is ready. I have my cake tester. And it's coming out clean. So I will set this on the cooling rack. The larger one is still in the oven. Oh my goodness, it smells so good in here. Okay, I just pulled this one out of the oven and it's coming out clean, so I'm going to put this on the cooling rack and let it cool. Oh my goodness, they smell so good. Okay, this one is starting to cool nicely. You can see that it's pulling away and starting to concave a little bit. That's normal. The cakes turned out so beautiful. I just love them. I have these two pedestals. We have company coming over tonight, so I thought it would be a beautiful presentation. So what I want to do is get a knife and just run it around. Just want to make sure that there is nothing stuck to the side. Such a delicate, beautiful dessert. Smells amazing in here. This is so wonderful. Flourless chocolate cake. So let's try to unbox this. <gasps> Look at that. Came out perfect. Now I'm going to serve this with either coconut whipped cream or with some Briar's ice cream that I have in the freezer. But this is so beautiful. Now I'd like to Take the small one out, do the same thing. We should have post this recipe on my website so you can have a printed version of it. Makes it so much easier when you have it in print. Beautiful. A couple of little crumbs on the edge, but I'll clean those up. So let's cut into one and give it a taste test. Look at how rich and decadent that is. It's okay to leave the parchment. It's okay to leave the bottom uh, of the spring form. Doesn't have to be removed.
add some salt, pepper, some minced garlic, some cumin, chili powder, and some foil and then I'll put it in the freezer and it's a perfect freezer meal. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. I love you all and I will see you on the next video. Bye!